if it's just fashionable, you want to do fashionable art, then it's either you do it right or it becomes questionable. It was in the 50s when I was in a primary school in Armenian Street, the Taunan School. Uh, there, the Chinese school uh, emphasized a lot on art. And in order to move to the next grade, you have to pass art, among other subjects. And we were fortunate to have a Mr. Sim, who comes every Wednesday morning and taught us art with demonstration. With a few flick of his brush, a painting was born and was absolutely fascinated. And later on, I started to go to the libraries and check out all the artists' lives like Van Gogh, Gauguin, Picasso. And later on, when I started to work and had money, I started to collect art, art books. And as a result, I have a, quite a collection of art books, which give me endless pleasure. In the early 60s, and I was busy trying to find out ways and means to get money to go to London after I graduated from NAFA. There were no scholarships whatsoever in those days. And I thought the only way I could try was to sell off all the artworks I've got. When I went to Chelsea, I was completely taken aback by the so-called art circle and art people there. And after the first few weeks, the teacher came over to me and told me that the way you present your artwork is out of date. You know, I thought I was good, then I realized I was just on the other extreme. I was just completely hopeless. So then I began to make it a point to visit the museum every Saturday. Every Saturday I go to the Tate Gallery, listen to talks, and then I gobble up all the artworks, the uh, Matisse nude, and everything. I went again and again and again to try to understand the way they feel about the model and how they present it to make it that one can look at the model in another way. I think this is probably every artist's fear. That you get up one morning, go to the studio, and you've got a blank head. You know, that you don't know what to do. To me, painting has always been, in the last 20 years at least, part of my life. Earlier than that, it was my life, you know. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I got to do sketching, I got to all the time thinking and dreaming of art. Then I realized that a part of my life is missing, that I can stop and stare and not do anything. And that gives me so much pleasure just to stop and stare, you know, and do nothing. So life becomes more balanced. They are, all the night, they are not obsessed with working, but rather obsessed with living.